There's a place called Andy's Lane in up in Valley. And And this house is meant to be owned by the Banshee. <laughs> and I was brought up there by his big brother actually. And me, my big brother went up and we went in and we went around, he never told us a thing. And then when we were leaving, he mentioned that was the Banshee's old house and she died in it. I got a new pair of shoes and put them on the table and my grandfather gave out to me for it, so I know. <laughs> my grandfather, when he was young, around my age, he was cycling up, up some road and he saw this candle bouncing along the road and the candle bounced and bounced and bounced and he followed the candle on his bike and they came to a house and the candle went down the chimney of the house and he went into the house and he found an old woman dead in it. My cousin's grandfather found a kind of moat in the fields that he owns and when he searched around it he found a big Viking or Norman sword or whatever and he brought it up to his house and family advised him to give it up to the Historic Museum in Dublin and it's still up there to say. It, I saw something like something about that as well. My father was working for him in that field, and my I, he was with him, and he found that stuff. And my father found a candlestick, but he didn't think it was a candlestick. It was so like covered over with stuff and all. So he threw it to him, and he, when he threw it to him, it broke in half. And, or it was a candle holder, sorry. And he actually broke the candle holder in half. It was a perfect candle holder. <laughs> my father broke it. <laughs>